What's up y'all, it's Brian Keith and I'm back with another video and today we're gonna be talking about the continuation of Dubai. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the, this season so far of Dubai? I think it's pretty good, but it has had its dry moments. So I feel like they probably do need more episodes if they come back for season two, obviously, because we all know that the introductory season is about 10 episodes. But, um, it was like the last two episodes, I was like, not last episode, but two after that was very much dry boring. So I thought they're really coming with a lot, but it's at the end. So I'm like, let's just see the reunion because we know that it's about to be crazy. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Yeah, let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire. Come out, I'm a famous lips. You want to play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it. Want it. Secure it. All right. So like we said, um... I said this in my videos all the time. I feel like Stanberry and Sergio, Sergio more so has this codependence on Stanberry that is so weird. Like he, like she's like, you know, attached to umbilical cord. He's like, what's that? I'm like, you're not that, you're not this dumb. Like, what are you talking about? So I feel like there's a lot of men, but it's more so women. But I guess being that she's older, I could see his stance because I feel like she makes the most money. I think he has an inheritance or whatever. But it's like a lot of people that get in relationships, they get codependent on their partner. And I feel like that's Sergio. He always want to be around her. She told him that, yeah, you know, I'm going on the girl's trip and you're not coming. He's like, what? Why am I not coming? And I know that for sure. Darling, you're not coming. Please. End of. No. I know the plan. I'm going to drive you there. No. And then I just jump in the... But you're not a girl. Why would you want to go on a trip around all females where you all you're gonna do is stay in the house and hang up with um Stanberry. Like, what are you talking about? Stay home, hang out with your guy friends if you have any, and figure it out. Like, anybody got time? So we segue over to Sarah and Brooks. They go um Sand Doom, RTV, all that, and they're having like a good time, look very much fun. They basically talk about the whole comment about basically sarah brooks thinks that sarah was criticizing her mother i know we had some rough moments where things got tense and i got upset because in my heart i was like every time i see her i try to hug her and that wasn't the case sarah's basically telling her like i told you from jump like hey i i don't know anything about your family but you know i'm just giving you some type of like saying you know be there for your son more she's not saying that you aren't there for him but she's just like you know do the little it's really the little things like instead of having your your um, maid nanny or whoever take your son up to um tuck him in or read him a bedtime story won't you do that and then instead of trying to send him to boarding school like these are like years you can't get back like you know to me you have had the time to heal you know and maybe you focused on your healing whereas i didn't yeah i can actually sympathize with that because me growing up like with two dominant um, career driven parents my dad being in the military for 28 years and my mom r going up in the financial ladder in the financial banking I really didn't see my parents like that I was like over here and like um, if you know what boys and girls club is that's where I was at right and then once I came of age then I just did sports and stuff like that but I didn't see my parents like that until the nighttime or the weekend so I mean I can see where it can come from where not I wouldn't say you feel abandoned but you feel like you're not your parents priority so maybe um brooks when she watches um the show back she realized like you know i think she's gonna watch what happens live like my son going to board school is not it because i think um caroline's i'm um, sorry not caroline stanberry's experience um basically rubbed her wrong so yeah so like we said the girls they all go um i don't even know where they where did they go let me see I planned this girls weekend to Nurai Island, which is one of my favorite places in the UA to go. Girls trip and basically they all get to the house. The um the house that they went to was top tier. Amazing. Like it's given very much Dubai. Dubai gives very much luxury and you know culture and I love it. So um everybody was trying to pick out the room. They're like, I want this room, I want this room. And like who wants the, the worst room? Like, come on now. For me, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's comfortable, we're cool. I'm not about to fight over a room. If I'm hosting the hosting the event, obviously I would get the best room. But if I'm not, I don't really care. And I think that's where Sarah's stance was. She was like, look, I'll take the bump beds. And the bump beds was bigger than most people's apartments. So like what are we talking about? So we see um, Lisa made a comment and then all of a sudden um, Ayan was like, yeah, I agree. So Caroline um, Brooks was like, I was so far of Lisa's freaking bumhole. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? I'm friends with her. You guys need to be stopped being 
jealous of our friendship. You need to get your get get out of her ass. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you always sucking up? And I just feel like with Brooks, she might. It seems like it stems from a little bit of jealousy. The dynamic of this friend group is really weird because at first, Lisa said that her and Nina was really close, but now Ayan and and Lisa are very close. But now Caroline Stanberry and Nina are super close, and that leaves Brooks and Brooks and Sarah. Sarah's the new girl, so I mean. But the dynamics of this friend group, you could tell that this is an actual friend group. Like they actually um, have history together, which is so nice for a core cast. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out who's the anchor of the show. It's not Stanberry. I thought off this episode, it could be. But from the past episodes, no. I feel like Stanberry gave, gave very much like cold, shield, shielded off, um, very much isolated and didn't want to like really put herself out there this episode gave me a, um, a whole new light to stanbury i feel like she was very much fresh very much um like when they were playing the game she's giggling laughing and like this is like a side of her personality that i like to see because don't nobody like like she gave like her from was it episode 10 like from nine episodes like it was very much like bitch like she was very i just it just wasn't a character that i would want to see on tv for me like I feel like this episode, like when they were doing like the whole um, popping the balloons and just like screaming, and, like girl stuff. So I'm just like, it was so cute. What? Oh, that's oh, water. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's switch the game up. Oh, yeah. Two truths and a lie. But we're gonna segue over to this dinner. So they're basically trying to talk about like, hey, look, I'm gonna insert the clip. My to put it says, down you. I am very hot. Okay. So, I can sell you your shoes to the whole planet. I'm sure you can. I'm, That's, I'm not woman. putting you down. I'm yeah. saying. So, shockingly, I'm kind of with Stanberry on this off the strength of I feel like she wasn't coming from a negative place or a place of malice. Um, I feel like Ayan was already in defense mode. I don't know. I feel like um, Brooks hit her on the head. I don't know what Stanberry said, but something triggered her to go on the attack mode. So I don't know what it is. And like I said in all my reviews, I can't judge anyone that's on these type of shows because one is edited. I mean, I can judge, but I can't really like, I can judge their character on the show. I don't know these people in real life. For, I don't know them from a hole in the wall, the answer ground, and the clouds in the sky. So all I can do is judge the characters that I see on the show. I know it's edited. I know it is a hyper-realistic reality that I'm watching, like common sense, right? So at the end of the day, I do feel like Ayan was maybe putting on because she, I, Stan Bear was trying to clarify, like, this is what it is, da 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 But at the end of the day, you need a moment. And I feel like... I love Ayan. Ayan's one of my favorites on the show, Ayan and Lisa, but I do feel like Ayan was very much searching for a moment. I just gotta keep it honest. Um, and yeah, I have to agree that I was on Stanberry's side with it. Um, I do, f I feel like this moment made me realize that Sarah does try to play holier than thou. One day he'll cut it off because he's in control of you. No, no man is paying for me. Yeah, exactly. I don't have that. Sarah, that's Sarah, what she's saying. And while she's over here trying to mediate, she is making certain comments and certain jabs where I feel like nobody asked for your opinion on the situation or the matter. So I don't know why you're giving it. And it was kind of um, strange. Um, I, I think one thing about Sarah that, I, that I'm not going to like is the switch up. How she it, she played neutral this whole time. But now at the reunion, you switched up to join forces with Nina. And even with Nina too, because Nina, like you've been, you and Sarah has been in the middle the whole time, but now we just want to switch up and ooh, 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 over here with Stanberry and Brooke. So it's kind of weird. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like those four can eat up Lisa and and Chanel. There's no possible way. But you never know, because Brooks, she got a mouth on her. Um, at the end of the day, that's the that's the video. Um, I'm ready to see this reunion. To be honest, like next episode should have been a finale. I'm just ready to see this reunion and see what these girls gonna bring. I do feel like they're gonna get a season two. I feel like the numbers have been okay for um, an introductory season. Like we know, Salt Lake was having like half a mil their first season. I love Salt Lake. Salt Lake was just all the way engaged. Um, I definitely know that um, Potomac and Salt Lake are coming back um, in a few weeks. I think Salt Lake's come back in September. Potomac might be coming back in the end of September. So I'm ready. Those are my two top two franchises. Potomac, Salt Lake, and Beverly Hills. So we'll see what happens. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.